summer's not over yet, there's still time for backyard barbecues, picnics at the beach, and impromptu potlucks with family and friends. I'm going to show you a quick and pretty way to add a touch of elegance to your summer table with a basic cloth napkin and crochet. I love a beautifully set table. I don't care if it's indoors, outdoors, casual, or fancy. It's my belief that the setting is just as important as the company and the food, so I always make an effort. Here's a simple crochet edging technique I use on these cloth napkins. You can find the complete crochet edging pattern in iHeart Aprons. So let's go back to my place and I'll show you how to make one. We'll start with a regular cloth napkin. Then we'll need crochet thread, a crochet hook, a large eye hand sewing needle, and a pair of scissors. Okay, we've got our supplies. Let's do this. In order to apply crochet edging to fabric, we need to set up a base row. So go ahead and thread your needle and knot it at the end. We're going to sew the bottom edge of the napkin with a blanket stitch. So take your needle and put it through the wrong side of the fabric at the corner, pull it through to the knot, then travel about a quarter inch over and pierce the needle down the right side of the fabric, pull it through. Now just before it goes all the way through, you're going to take your needle and stick it underneath the stitch and then pull. When you reach the end of the napkin, go ahead and knot it off and cut the thread. So now we're ready to start crocheting. We're going to do two single crochets into each blanket stitch. Now working on the right side of your fabric, we want to insert our hook into the first blanket stitch. Yarn over and pull up the first loop. Yarn over again and pull up the bottom two loops. That's our first single crochet. We need to do one more single crochet into that blanket stitch. And we'll continue across the napkin. So here it is, our first row of single crochet. We're gonna go ahead and knot it off and cut the thread. Leave a five inch tail. We're gonna weave that in later. The next and final row is where the magic happens. We'll be using stitches that will create the pretty scallop edge. The first thing we need to do is a slip stitch. So we're gonna take our hook and insert it into our first single crochet. Take your thread and yarn over the hook and pull the bottom loop through. After the slip stitch, we're going to make one single crochet into the next stitch. Insert your hook into the loop, yarn over, pull up the first loop, yarn over, and pull up the bottom two loops. Moving on and into the next stitch, we'll do three double crochets into that one stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up the first loop, yarn over, pull up the two middle loops, and yarn over, and pull up the bottom two loops. That's the double crochet. We have to do two more into that one stitch. 
We're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. See how the scallop is forming? Make a slip stitch into the next stitch. At this point, we'll be making five chain stitches. It's very easy. Yarn over, pull up the loop, and we'll be doing that five times. After the five chain stitches, skip over two single crochets and slip stitch into the third single crochet. We've just completed our first scallop group. You'll continue the process across the napkin. When you reach the end, knot it off and cut the thread. Final result, instant pretty. For more crochet inspiration, pick up the latest copy of Crochet Today magazine.